let's see. Oh, you know what? I should probably go online. Sorry if you guys hear me cough. I uh, have asthma and it's cold outside, so. Yeah, I am shiny hunting, so anytime I get to the point where I um, have to catch it, if it's not shiny, I just let it go, so. Let's see. Did I not? What? What happened? Did I hit cancel or something? I wasn't paying attention. Tap a boo Invite other. Huh. I am really tired. Well, whoever DJ is, he's going to be joining me. I hope he's okay with being live online because he is live online. So, And if he doesn't want to be live online, too bad because it's a little too late for that. Now, while I wait for others, let me just go ahead and get some other stuff ready. Here comes Morgan. <clears throat> Morgan and Morgan for the people. Hit pound law. That's all. That commercial cracks me up every time. Oh, look. Denise Dennis? Denise? Denise. Alright, well, we got four, so let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, let's see. Tapu Bulu is grass and fairy, right? Get all my tapus mixed up. I know Tapu Coco is the electric one. Is Tapu Lele the other one? I'm so confused. I forgot what they are. Let me turn this volume up a little bit. Yeah, fairy and grass, that's what I thought. Okay. So if it's grass, let's go ice. What's up, 5S? How's everything going with you? For those that don't know, 5S and the Chad Sword and Shieldbird Spectacular Skirmish Society is uh, one of the people that started the tournament I was just a part of, and I went out, I think, last week, and they're still going on. Ooh, that was a little bit loud. It's good working on some stuff, but figured I'd say hi. Well, hello there. I went out before you did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it was funny because, like, you and PCC were, like, the main two people that started the whole thing. And both of y'all went out early. Or I think he went out early. He might not have went out. But just that one day that he pulled two points. And all you hear is, oh, no. <laughs> that shit had me rolling. <laughs> Now, in your um, in your league, 
are you the Boston Braviaries? Was that your team? Or was that somebody else? We both lost the third round. Yeah, okay, we both went out at the same time. Go Boston. Oh, okay. So, uh, is it safe to say you're from Boston? Because my wife's from Worcester. And apparently if you call it Worcester, they get really mad at you. But it's not my fault people in Massachusetts don't know how to pronounce the letter R. <clears throat> This was a quick round. Actually, I'm a lot closer to Worcester. We got a couple guys from Worcester. <clears throat> I'm actually going to eventually be moving up there. Um, uh, that's where my wife's family from, but we were looking into buying a house in Oxford, Massachusetts, because that's where her grandma used to live and in the specific house and when we were supposed to go up and put a bid on it covid happened and we couldn't travel and they ended up selling the house to somebody else so we were like oh no but we're still looking into moving up there um definitely gonna be moving in that direction what's that But her mom still lives there. Yeah, I grew up in a town next to Oxford. Was it Auburn? Because that's where she grew up, was in Auburn, Mass. I mean, she grew up in Worcester, but her grandma lived in Oxford, and her cousin Holly lives in Auburn. And we stayed in Sturbridge, <clears throat> excuse me, when we went up there. Um, I'm actually going to keep mine. Now I live in the county over. No, not Auburn, LOL. I don't know if it's Auburn or Oxford, but one of them has, like, a mall in it. And in the mall, there's, like, legit a uh, little grocery store. Dudley. That sounds like a made-up name. <laughs> Where are you from? Dudley. Come on, Denise. There we go. Yeah, Auburn has them all. Okay, it's Auburn. <laughs> like, it was weird because the mall was like, it felt like it was like right around the corner from my wife's grandma's house. But then she was like, no, they're in two different cities. One's in Oxford, one's in Auburn. I'm like, oh, they like felt like they were right next to each other. I also got a buddy that lives in Springfield, Mass. I got a buddy that lives in New Bedford. I have a buddy that lives in... Uh, shit, I forgot where Motivated Catch lives. But, uh, yeah, I got, I got friends all up in the New England area. Yeah, she showed me. She showed me where the Toys R Us was, and she told me, this is where we used to go, and my mom and dad would say, tell me what you want for Christmas, and we would point it out, and they'd say, too bad, how's it feel to want, but then Santa always brought it. He's in southeastern Mass somewhere, like by Foxborough. Foxborough, that's where the Patriot Stadium is, correct? Gillette, Gillette Field? Is that what it's called? Santa always knows. <laughs> my uh, my kid is one of my kids is seventeen, and um, he started to not believe in Santa Claus like around the age of twelve or thirteen. And I like photoshopped a picture of Santa Claus on our roof, and told him I was like, "Look, check it out! I caught a picture of Santa Claus," and it like restored his belief in Santa for like two more years. So he legit believed in Santa Claus. So he was like fifteen or sixteen. 
And that's good because Santa Claus is definitely real. And if anybody doesn't believe in Santa Claus, those are people that are called, are those the people don't get presents. So you always want to believe in Santa Claus. Go Pats, no Pats. Definitely, I think you misspelled the word pack. It's supposed to be P A C K, not P A T S. I mean, it's okay. Spelling's not my strong point either. But definitely go Packers. So how have the Patriots been now that they don't have Tom Brady anymore? Santa still leaves me a stocking all at my mom's house every year. Nice. Santa Claus is the best, I swear. Oh, no, I didn't want to change my... Oh, I didn't want to change my Pokemon, but... Ah! <laughs> actually wish they'd just suck and get us a better draft pick, right? <clears throat> That's sad when you feel that way about a team, but I completely understand. It's like, oh, no, I, uh... Hey, what is this? Water is ready to speed sharply to Pokemon Mrs. Moon because of accuracy. Left uh, resource 10 PP to a depleted move during battle. Uh, later, advanced ones are slower stand up. All right, so, um... But, yeah, I know that feeling. It's like, okay, my team's not the best, but they're not the worst, so they're going to get a draft pick of, like, you know, 19 or 15 or something like that. It's like, I'd rather them either be in the top 10 or the top 5 or the bottom 5. That way, if they're in the top 5, at least they're doing good. And if they're in the bottom 5, then at least, like you said, they'll get a better draft pick. <clears throat> All right, let's see. El de Gossett is... And... Being in the middle is the worst. Yeah, it's kind of like being a child. You never want to be the middle child. I'm excited for the draft league, yeah. Um, the downside with the draft league is I don't have a lot of Pokemon that are, like, battle-ready. Like, I only have a handful, so if I don't get them in the draft, I'm going to have a terrible uh, season next year. However, or next season or whatever. However, this is going to give me the opportunity to kind of, like, see where I'm lacking and, you know, kind of try to up it up some and, <clears throat> you know, things like that. So, uh, I'm definitely excited about it. Yes. Now, is that something I'm allowed to, like, live stream, or is that something that we have to, like, record and upload later? I breed a lot for people, and we are a good community. <clears throat> yeah, I love doing the breeding thing. Like, I'll pull up Bulbapedia and find out, like, uh, what, um find out like what pokemon like okay so as an example uh when i played sun and moon i bred a alolan marowak and i had to get a cubone that had a specific um what is it uh, i uh, ability a female with a specific ability and breed her with a male with um that had a male like squirtle or something that knew rock rock or head bash or skull bash or something like that and then uh what i would do is i would then get like you would get another cubone that would have that ability a female that would have that ability in that move i think it was female i'm pretty sure it was female but then you would turn around and have to breed that one with another one that has a that has like double edge or something actually i think they learned that naturally but like just keep breeding and breeding and breeding until you have the moves you want and then once you get the, the best move set, you keep breeding, breeding, breeding until you got the actual thing. Now on here, you got the like class that you can send them off to for 24 hours. Oh, crap, I forgot to take my Pokemon out of the thing. But I'll do it after this. But yeah, like getting the perfect Pokemon is something like I've always loved doing. It's like that whole, 
You know, you catch and catch and catch until you get the ability you want, and then you breed and breed and breed until you get the moves you want, and then you breed and breed and breed until you get the moves with the ability that you want, and the IVs that you want, and all that stuff, and yeah, it's crazy, it's fun, it's crazy, and then you max it out. Okay, I do not want that one. See, I paid attention that time. I can't believe I traded my Fromantis. I wanted to stick with that Fromantis all the way through. <clears throat> yeah, it made training a lot easier. And breeding, hell yeah. The fact that they give you two nurseries now, like, that blows my mind. Tapa Bulu. Grassy Surge. Alright, let's see. I'm hoping for the shiny on this one. Keep thinking today's Wednesday. <coughs> Scraggy Pants dropped out, he told me today, which kind of sucks. Yeah, I think he only dropped out because of his, um... Because of his job, he just got a brand new job working at Home Depot, and they're like, because it's like holiday season, he had, he had like, um, not set schedule, but eventually a schedule will be set a certain way, so it'll be easier for him, um, but yeah, Scraggy, he actually has a really good team, um, Luckily, I had an extra person, but they thought he'd have fun. I think he'll have fun. I think he'll try again in the future. Wait, what am I doing? There we go. I definitely think Scraggy Pants will be back. Damn, I just realized I forgot to share the link to my live stream and all the Discord groups. Yeah, I told him we weren't starting anything until after the holidays, but maybe he'll join in the spring for the next season. <coughs> That's what I'm thinking, too. He'll probably join in spring. I'm glad you and a lot of other PokeTubes are joining in, though. Good to have the community together producing content. Hell yeah, man. Um, I just... I, I just love playing video games and I love competition. One of the things, most of the coaches just send me videos, which takes up a lot of my time. <laughs> just send me videos. What do you mean they just send you videos? Like they record their stuff, send it to you, and leave it for you to upload and edit? Or That's crazy. Like I could imagine like participating in something and not like being like, here, check out my stuff. Oh, I did it in a Pokeball. I wanted to do it in a Premier Ball. Um, but one of the things I want to do with my channel, but my computer is not strong enough to do a live stream, is I want to host a, a, a live quiz show. 
with I do editing and commentary. Yeah, I um I do a live I want to do a live quiz show with different PokeTubers <clears throat> and have it like different rounds be like different games kind of almost like you know one round is almost like a charades one round is almost like a pictionary one round is almost like a like a guess that price of Pokemon stuff sold on eBay you know how much did it sell for what's this card worth you know lightning round where you have to you know I give you a, 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 a energy type and you have to try to guess if it's uh, um you have to just, like, start listing off different Pokemon of that type, and anybody that says a Pokemon that's not that type, they're automatically out, and the last person standing gets, like, ten points. Um, I don't know. I have a lot of ideas for my channel. I just don't have a strong enough computer to do it. But, uh, yeah, I could definitely use Discord, but if I was to do something like that, I would have to record it and then upload it. But, like, what I want to do is do a live stream where, <clears throat> excuse me, where, uh, you know, in between rounds, we can read, like, comments from people and stuff like that. Because I feel like if it's live, people are more likely to watch it than if it's just a replay. Um, but I thought about doing one to, re like, recording one just for fun, just to see, like, how it would go. And then, you know, if it did, I would eventually wait till I was able to get a stronger computer and live stream it. I've even thought about running my computer to my TV and live streaming it the way that I have my game going right now. I would just have all the PokeTubers on the screen right here and then, like, you know, uh, with Discord. And I would just be live streaming from my phone. Um, yeah. All right, let me. What am I doing? Would you like us to keep a record of where you found Taboo this time? No, you already have it. So, all right, let's see. I've got wonderful items for you in exchange for Dynite or. Nope. Let's see. This girl gives you a lot of information. I found Articuno down in the max lair. If you like, I'll tell you where Articuno is. No, good. I already got shiny Articuno. The trick to having a good Dynamax adventure, well, you can really turn up the excitement by using a move like Max Knuckle to raise allies Pokemon's attack stat. I'm carrying on like usual, I suppose, the tra- oh, okay, she's gonna say that again, okay. Well, let's go back here. Welcome, whoever's watching. Would you like to embark upon a Dynamax adventure? Sure. Alright, let's see. Alright, bro, I'm gonna go do a few more videos, I'll try to hop back on if you keep it up. No worries, man, I'll talk to you later, thanks for watching. Wait, Scraggy Pants is online. Oh, nope, I didn't mean to do that. I'm probably just going to do some shiny on <clears throat> Let me load Discord real quick over here. Actually, I'm looking for footprints. Double looks so funny. I 
I'm sure my theory is not wrong. If you want some proof, then look there. See those footprints? You found evidence of the Iron Will Pokemon in the 2% of the data needed to track it. My theory is that the legendary Iron Will Pokemon, Cavern Pokemon, and Grassland Pokemon are all somewhere out here in the Crown Tundra. And there's evidence like this scattered all over the place that'll lead us to them. If we can find more evidence collect 100% of the data needed to track these legendary Pokemon, then I bet we could use my Pokemon Finder to figure out what habitats they're living in. <clears throat> But this place is wicked cold, and it's putting me in hibernation mode. Wicked cold, she must be from Massachusetts. Yo, brah, it's wicked cold outside. It's putting me in hibernation mode. Are you planning to stick around here for a while, Peacock? Think you could try to spot more evidence like this and report it to me when you find it? I'll reward you for your hard work, of course. I'll be waiting in that house over there so I can stay warm and cozy and maybe feel my fingers. Or so that I can grip a, grip a pen and write, of course, since I'll be working so hard on my research. Well, maybe if you dressed for the freaking occasion, lady, and didn't show up in a lab coat and fucking scrubs, I'm just saying. So now I'm going around looking for footprints? Is that what I'm hearing? Like, let's see, where would the footprints be? Found a bottle cap, that's pretty cool. Timer ball. I'm assuming the fur prints are going to look like those two little dots that she was at. What was that? Was that a Weavile? That is a Weavile. Can I see him from a bike? Like, do I have to go this slow? There we go. I can see him from the bike. Wait, how's that 2% if the last one I got was 2%? Is Discord taking forever to load? Evidence of the grassland Pokemon. Alright, let me go do this right quick. second all right so let me set this to attack real quick there we go let's see Is there a way that I can share my stream from here? Yes, right there. Share. Copy. Close. Go back in a Discord.
Okay, so it didn't go this way since it's the grassland Pokemon. I'm assuming it went this way. So I should be seeing footprints somewhere around there. It's hard to tell the difference in footprints and rocks sometimes. Welcome whoever's in the chat or whoever's watching. Feel free to send a message in the chat if you got any questions or concerns or advice or anything like that. Uh, for the record, all I'm doing right now is uh, I'm doing the uh, searching for footprints thing until somebody wants to join me in Dynamax Adventures. And then if they want to join me in Dynamax Adventures, I'll go back to doing that. Maybe I'll go back to doing it before they want to join me. I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. But as of now, I'm just killing time by hunting for footprints, which have... Okay, so the last one was right here. So where the hell is the next one? I wonder if it was underneath that neater end. Oops. I'm going to find the rest of these footprints. I've only seen them in snow, so I don't know what they look like on the ground. So they might be a little bit harder to see. Not 100% sure. But I think I'll figure it out. As soon as I see one, I'll be like, oh, okay. There's a Nido Queen right there. There's an obstagoon. Hey. Evidence of the grassland Pokemon. Okay. Are there any that lead up to this? Or is it just... Is that it? There's just randomly a handful of footprints? Hmm. 22%. 24%. So I'm almost a quarter of the way done already. I feel like I really haven't done much. Are they going this way? Let's find out. 
dun 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 Is that the way it just came from? No. I came from over there. So, looks like they're going this way. So, next one should be somewhere around here. Okay, so I'm starting to think that there's no order to them. They're kind of just sporadic. Or are they? So what it is, did they go this way, and then they went, shit. Let's see here. And there we go. What up? And they went this way. Forty percent, almost halfway there. Like, come on, Blaze again, move out of my way. Yeah, these things, are, there's really no order to this. Unless that thing ran around these little things, like each one. In that case, there'd be one over here. If not, but there's a brilliant linoon. Fifty percent. Fifty two percent. Okay. See, like, it came up over here and shit, like, these have got to just be randomly placed. Sixty. <laughs> Sixty-two. Let me watch this replay real quick because I think I just missed something.
Yeah, it looks like there's like shit popping up behind me. Hey, what's up, mini Pokemon Master? How's it going? Okay, I think I've already been over here. What's up, PCC? For the record, if either of you guys want to do any Dynamax adventures, uh, let me know. Uh, I'm just doing the little um, footprint thing right now. Oh, man, I thought I was the person on the red. I was going to say, where am I going? There it is. 68%. Look, there's an Umbreon. Found all the footprints yet? Nope. <laughs> I'm on the... First set, which I believe they said is the grass. Yeah, grassland Pokemon, and I'm at 72%. Like, at first, I thought there was going to be some kind of method to them. Like, you know, they're all like, you know, like they're a trail or something. Oh, look, 5S is back. But they are literally sporadic. Let's see. Not much, man. Just got back home, been grinding so much sword. She'll finish the tundra this morning. You finished the story of the tundra, or you finished all this side quest stuff, too? Because I am so far behind in these side quest things like i i just figured out how to like do the tree thing the other day and uh when i figured out how to do that i'm pretty sure i lost that battle of course i also went in with just one pokemon i had uh five eggs So let's see, we've got Florida, Florida, Massachusetts, and Australia all representing right now. Eighty percent, eighty percent. Two. 84. Uh, 5S is from Massachusetts. All the Reggie's birds and the footprint trails. God damn, that's some grinding. Well, I mean, if, are you able to play now or are you working? As I say, if you want to get in some Dynamax adventures, we can. <clears throat> if Sarah wants to jump in, she can too. Oh, I'm sorry, Mini Pokemon Master. Forgot we're using code names. Where did I get that from? Where the guy's like, oh yeah, I forgot. Code names. 
Nice. I was born and raised in Massachusetts. So was my wife. <laughs> yeah, she was born and raised in Worcester. And, uh, yeah. So. I'm free, my friend. Let me just put on some lunch. Lello, it's okay, Sarah, or Minnie is fine. Oh, I know. I was just playing. <laughs> Let's see. I don't see any footprints in this little room here. Well, all we'll all have a good time. <laughs> I'd love to do a max ray, but after my hubby gets out of the shower, I gotta record on behind on videos. LOL. Okie dokie. Hey, you know what? That reminds me. I got a notification that said you were live streaming at 2 a.m. this morning. Um, was that a typo? <laughs> before you move uh well i mean i can't move until covid's over so it's gonna be oh i just bought a new car today so it's gonna be a while till i move like i i bought a 2021 toyota corolla um traded in my 2019 toyota corolla so uh once covid's over like i legit plan on having either uh either i want to have a pokemon go community day all right hear me out um what? No, I was most definitely not streaming at 2 a.m., although I streamed on Saturday. Although, yeah, no, it said you streamed at 2 a.m. this... No, it said you had scheduled a stream for 2 a.m. this morning. And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, uh, I, I don't think this is right. So I made sure that I, you know, mentioned it to you. But anyhow, um, yeah, so uh, what I was going to say is... What I was thinking about is, if COVID is over by February, um, I don't know if you saw my video today or if you loaded Pokemon Go, but they're doing this big event in February that they're selling tickets for, and the tickets are eleven ninety nine each, and they give you access to uh, Pokemon... Um, what the hell was that noise? But they give you access to um, to an event... And I want us all to get together and do the event at Disney Springs. Or what's it called? Downtown Disney or whatever. You know what I'm saying? What? No way. LOL. I can't schedule streams off my phone. LOL. Ah, just telling you what it said. It was a notification I woke up to on my phone. And when it said Mini Pokemon Master, my first thought was, that can't be right. Okay, so I got 100% of the footprints. What do I do now? Dynamax pot, Pokemon spot on the Isle of Armor. Um, let's see. Let me take a hit off this. Yeah. How crazy would it be if it was just some random ass dream that I had? But what do you think about me, you? Hang on a second. Let me take a hit off this. Okay, what do you think about me, you, and uh, go to Sonya? Thank you. Um, Pokeballers, uh, what is the TCG Funhouse? Um, uh, I don't know. I'm trying to think who all. Polish Rob, I think he plays Pokemon Go. Um, but all of us getting together and going to uh, downtown Disney to play for, like, a special event or a community day or something in the future. Oh, this is the wrong house. I'll tell you what would be really cool is if we knew for sure COVID was over and was able to tell other people, you know, hey, guys, let's play in this big event. Everybody that can come visit Florida, plan a vacation. Yeah, I'm really hoping COVID goes away. Um... Oh, look how cute they are together. Alright. So, uh, but yeah. 
I really hope COVID is ended by then. Uh, I guess the first person took the vaccine today or whatever, so we'll see how that goes. And, uh, you know, once Biden gets in office, they'll probably shut down America for a few weeks. Or, what do you say, like, eight weeks or something? South Southern California is on an eight-week mandatory lockdown. That's 0%. Data for the grassland Pokemon 100%. You've gathered 100% of the data needed to track the grassland Pokemon. Now, do I have to do, like, right away, or can I do all three of them and then come tell her? This should be enough data for us to pin down where it usually lives. Uh, I'm going to guess somewhere grassy. Come on, wild area of the main game. Let's see. I've got my money on wild area. The giant's bed. I was wrong. I didn't think they would all be on this island. These places called things like the Giant's Bed and the Giant's Foot, Three Point Pass, Roaring Sea Caverns, Frost Point Field, Giant's Bed. You can collect all the footprints, then go back there. Oh, okay, cool. I don't know why I just did that. It is my you did either, lol. What? <laughs> Road trip movie reference. Austin, Massachusetts. Sorry, I was trying to catch up with some of the chats that I missed. All right, Joe, I'm firing up my switch. All righty, I'm going to head over to the area. We'll do some Gigantamax raids. Whoop, whoop. I don't know why you did that either. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I mean, I do know why, but I don't know if I can legally say on stream. But I'm pretty sure you guys could figure it out. Uh, I don't know if 5S is joining us. I think he's doing a lot of editing and recording right now or something. And when Andy gets out of the shower, Sarah's going to be doing some editing and recording too. I need to open the window because I'm going to light a cigarette. Oh no, it might get loud guys because the church is, uh, looks like the church is about to let out. And yes, I have a church in my backyard. And no, I do not believe in God. I'm an old man going to bed. Ha ha ha. Pretty sure I'm older than both of you. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'm older than everybody in the room. It's not age that makes you old, it's all the crack cocaine I smoked. I mean, that'll do it to you. <laughs> like, that's why it's got to be something you smoke once a year. You know, you kind of keep it in between Christmas and New Year's. That way it's like your annual gift to yourself, a little bit of crack cocaine. And then, uh, um... You know, you mix it in with your weed, and you get, like, really blitz for, like, a week straight, and then you just stop doing it as your New Year's resolution, and then the next year you do it again for Christmas, so. I hit the wall, a.k.a. 30, lol. Okay, how, okay, how old are the both of y'all? I'm 37. I guarantee you, anybody that's not in the conversation is probably thinking, this is the most boring stream in the world. This dude is just sitting here running around in circles waiting for somebody to sign in. I'm 35, just after Shining Fates comes out. Hint, hint. Well, 
will be 30 in March. And yep, Joey, you are older than my hubby two years. LOL. Haha, <laughs> one up. Ha 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 ha. Um, Card Collector, are you uh, ready to do this? You know what, just in case, I should probably share my friend code with you. Oh, uh, excuse me. I did not mean to do that on a live stream. You know what it is, it's because I drink diet soda. You good to go? Do you need my friend code? My wife's birthday is in March too. Happy birthday to all of you. I'll be 30 in March. Okay. Oh, I, I personally, I used to hate it when people would say Joey, but not anymore. You be Evie. Hey. And how are you doing? All right, so let's reload the game. Have fun, guys. I got to get my beauty sleep so I look good on camera for more videos. Well, you probably need to sleep for longer than one day. March is super popular month for birthdays. Yeah, because... <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm born in June, and I've met a lot of people that were not just born in June, but born on my birthday. June, I feel like there's a lot of June babies out there. By the way, I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but um, Justin from Pokey Card Collectors and Justin from Crazy Collections look like they can be brothers. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever known that or not, but I honestly think they're long-lost twins separated at birth. One raised in Australia, one raised in California. Have a good night, 5S. Oh, shit, it makes you wonder what happened nine months before. <laughs> nice. Oh, shit. All right, let's go back. All right, here we go. Game on. And let's connect back to the internet. Uh, let's see. Machamps.com. I started Surprise Trade just now. I wonder what kind of Pokemon I'll get. I don't know. But I guarantee you it'll be shiny. We have the same name, same playmat, same video editor. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, they're twins. My middle child's birthday is June along with my mom, my sister-in-law, and my two brother-in-law. See, June is way more popular. And it's because June is in the summer. And, you know, when up north gets all these blizzards and stuff, they start, you know, having nothing else to do in their, um, in their thing. So what am I doing? I'm, I need to go here. They start having nothing else to do in the wintertime, so they start just making babies right and left. All right, so, uh, yes, please. All right, PCC, the code is going to be 06141983. Uh, I guess it would help if I actually clicked on the thing. 06141983. And, uh, oh, did I not save my Tapu thing? Oh, well, let's do it at all. All right, yes, save my game. I picked up the wrong thing. And we're going to set the link code to 06141983. Same with hurricane season. Yeah, that's the southern version. That's why down south a lot of babies are born nine months after hurricane season. Up north, babies are born nine months after uh, blizzard season. All right, that's the code. And I'm officially hitting invite, so let's see. PCC can join. And welcome anybody else that's watching that's not part of the chat. Uh, UB Evie just subscribed. I want to say thank you so much, UB Evie, for that. It helps me out a lot. Um, also, in case anybody else wants to jump in on this, um, Feel free to join in. The code is 06141983, and we're doing Evital. Evil Tall. Evil Tall? 
I was born in the winter. Lou. LOL. Pokey Card Collector, are you joining? Please call me UB. Sounds good to me. Hit me with the code again, buddy. All right, it's there you go. Zero six one four one nine eight three. For those that don't know, that is June fourteenth, nineteen eighty three. That commemorates a special day in my life. It was a day called Flag Day, which is the day that uh, America actually incepted the flag into the United States. So. Uh, when they said this is going to be the flag, they had a parade and everything on that day, so it's a great day. Everybody should celebrate Flag Day every June 14th, 1983. I'm sorry, not 1983, uh, just every June 14th. But <laughs> just kidding, I'm being facetious, of course. That's actually my birthday. Still waiting on PCC. I might have to back out and try again. Is your in, are you connected to the internet, uh, Justin? UB, do you play on the Switch? Oh my god, my brother was also born on Flag. See, that's what I just said. Alright, I'm backing out for a minute. <clears throat> I've met so many people born on June 14th in my life. It's ridiculous. Um, I wonder why that is. I wonder what happened nine months prior to June 14th that caused a lot of babies to be born on that day. I mean, it doesn't matter. I call my brother and my brother. All right, so is your internet on, uh, Pokey Car Collector? Six on live chat? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'm not exactly a huge channel, but it's fun. So anyways, uh, Pokey Card Collector, is your, um, is your thing connected to the, net, to, to the internet? If not, you're only gonna, okay, alright, it is. Next, let's make sure we're putting the code in. And, oops, see, now I screwed up. Now I gotta go back and try again. Alright, let's try this again. The most you get on your streams is like three to five. Yep. Yeah. But you know what they say. It's, uh, it's not the quantity of people. It's the, it's the quality of people. So I might have, you know, three, four, five people on the stream at once, but they're all good people. All right, let's see. Would you like to save? Yes. All right, code again is going to be zero six one four one nine eight three. And sorry if you guys can hear the train in the background. I live close to train tracks. I do live in the hood, as I've noted before. <laughs> oh yeah, she does hear the train. I just looked over and saw that. Invite others, and it's on like Donkey Kong. <sighs> yeah, I like having people in the chat that I can actually talk to. It's like some people will come in and watch the stream, and they're like they won't be chatting at all. <clears throat> and uh, I don't know who Sarah Ross is, but if she's still watching, she could feel free to share my live stream and you know get some more people in there if she'd like. But if not, that's cool too. Uh, either way, I'm having good conversation with, uh, Mini Pokemon Master, Poke Card Collector, and 5S had to go. Yubi's here. Yubi represent. Let's see. I don't know why it's not coming up. Other stuff is, but not yours. Uh, okay, let's change the code. Let's try that. 
Let's go in. Yes, please. Evital. And this time the code is going to be 17, 17, 17, 17. 17 is my lucky number. Are you going into Dynamax Adventures or are you looking for Dynamax Raid? I should probably ask that. Because, like, it's not going to come up on that blue screen if you're waiting for, like, the card to pop up. Like, you can't get it from there. You have to go into the Dynamax Adventure area. <clears throat> I know you said you just started playing recently and you grinded this whole way up, so. Now, when you said you did the Crown Tundra already, did you already finish the Isle of Armor too? There he is. And I guess it's just the two of us. I don't think anybody else is joining. At least they haven't said nothing in the chat. Maybe it was just the code. It is a popular code. Damn, you did Isle of Armor as well. <clears throat> yeah, man. That was one hell of a grind you did there. All right. I forgot who we were going against. Tapu Bulu. He grass and fairy so let's go with ice whatever you do don't pick dragon type <laughs> oh I picked the dragon type oh he's dark and my bad I thought it was fairy and grass is dark and grass Oh, <laughs> I forgot it's Evital. I was doing. I thought it was Tabu Bulu. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, I just I completely forgot which one I was doing. Back to my original conversation, kids. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad and good. Yeah, I keep telling JD State CCM90 that he needs to play this game, and he keeps saying he's going to. And if he would grind it out three or four hours a day, he would he would catch up in no time. And he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it." And then he never does it. Drink some right here. Also, not sure if you guys heard um, Mini Pokemon Master and PCC that um, I am putting together a couple things this month. One of them is uh, up until last week, I only had six badges. Nice. Um, let's see. I, uh, I'm putting together a secret Santa for PokeTubers. Does JD have health issues going on, though? Maybe that's why he hasn't played. Yeah, he has health issues going on, but he that's not why he hasn't played. He hasn't played because 
he spends all of his time dealing with Pokemon cards and he doesn't save himself time to play video games. He just bought a whole bunch of video games and hasn't played like any of them. But, uh, um, anyways, uh, I'm putting together a Secret Santa event for other PokeTubers and, uh, hopefully that'll, you know, bring some people a little bit closer together. And if you guys want to participate, just DM me your address, and on uh, Thursday night, I'll DM you somebody else's name and address, and it's $10, to $10 minimum, $20 maximum, and uh, yeah, so what I suggest doing, if you want to be a part of it, is uh, um, just order something on Amazon and have it shipped to that address, that way you don't have to pay extra for shipping. Especially if you, you know, live in Australia. It's down under. Um, also, um, on the 10th, which is two days from now, um, there's a hashtag PTCGO 10-pack challenge, which is where you open up 10 packs of Pokemon TCGO cards, whichever sets you want to, and uh, you post a video of it, and you use the hashtag PTCGO 10 pack challenge, and it'll automatically make a playlist, and we already have a bunch of people saying they're going to participate, and I know that pretty sure Mini Pokemon Master plays, but I'm not sure if Justin plays... Pokemon TCGO, so just in case you guys want to, you're more than welcome to try it out. I do have a video that has all the information for it on my channel. It is freezing outside. Like, I have my window open and it's like really, really cold. My nipples can cut diamonds. Oh, I just realized, the reason I was thinking Tapu Bulu is because I did like 10 Tapu Bulu uh, Dynamax Adventures over the last couple days. I was trying to go for the uh, shiny, but I accidentally just managed to lose my uh, tracking for it because I wasn't paying attention. Yes, that is an idea. It's a great idea. I'm assuming you were talking about the um, Secret Santa thing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't tell anybody how many people are involved in it. I don't tell anybody who else is involved in it. I just have everybody DMing me their addresses. And then I'm writing them down on a piece of paper. And I am basically going to cut the paper up into small pieces and draw one name. And then the next name I draw. If you're still live on, I'll hop on later. All right, Sarah, good luck on your pools. Can't wait to see the videos. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be completely random. And uh, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, I don't know if you know this or not, PCC, but uh, 
if you don't catch it, if it's not shiny, you can run from them. At the very end, when it says, which one would you like to take, you can not take any of them and try to shiny hunt again. When you do Dynamax Adventures, it's um, 1 in 100 chance, I think, of getting a shiny, which is some really good odds. I'll check if it'll let me buy from Amazon US. It usually auto directs to AU. Oh, that's where VPNs come in, bro. <laughs> Let's see. Wow, there's nothing on our trail that we're going. Phalanx. call at 9.41 at night. <laughs> so I'm definitely going into this poisoned. Well, I really hope my notifications are popping up on the screen right now. No, I don't want a Dynamax. I can't Dynamax, I'm dead. <laughs> of course, bro, you deserve it. Your content is awesome. Oh, yeah, my content is awesome. I give it that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I want to swap it. Ha ha. Damn, why did I swap? I just realized my dude died, but he came back with, with ice and full power. I think I probably shouldn't have swapped it now. I feel like I just screwed you. 
Sorry, Justin. I mean, it doesn't hurt to lose, so if we do lose, it's oh well. You know, I'm not gonna... Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna be the one, uh... Uploading, or, um... Dynamaxing. Yeah, I feel bad that I beat you to it, because now I think about it, I would have been better off with my bear tig. Yeah, you should have a ground type or a rock type move or something like that. Nope, there you go, rock type, that's the one. Buffeted by a sandstorm. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of lemmings. <laughs> That's funny. jump in. There you go. Alright, let's see. I like to catch them in premiere balls just because I think it's funny.
Not shiny. Justin, what do you uh, have in your thing? Uh, on mine, I have Ivital and uh, Tapu Lili. What do you have in yours? Come in and tell me about it in the chats. Let's see, what does it say? Suicune and Rishram. Alright, uh... I already have Suicune. Um... Let's do... Do I have Rishram? I don't think I have Rishram. Uh, do Rishram. Set up the thing and put in the code 1717. second let me just do this real quick I've never sent anything off to get graded so I can't help you but at Gengar shit alright <clears throat> Alright, bingo buddy, let's go. Alright, so anything is fine. 1717 is the code. And let's see. 17171717. Go. Yes. It's not connecting. Maybe we should do a different code. I feel like it should have connected by now. Yeah, I wonder if it's because you're on the other side of the world or not, because it feels like it didn't take this long last time when you signed in. Like, I wonder if it could just be a really busy code. Mm If it doesn't connect by like 30 seconds, back out, change the code, tell me the code, and then go back in. Okay, try it again. I'll set it up again.
Yeah, see, that was a lot quicker. <laughs> I mean, for me, it looks like you sat there for about a minute, but that was just because I'm really slow at it. Let's see. It's great. Do you want to jump in some Dynamax adventures? There we go. Oh man, I forgot who we're going against. Let me look at the chat real quick. Rishram, okay. Uh, I'm just going to grab something that has a fairy type move and oh I would have liked that weekly tough but I'm just going to have to kind of hope I can trade for something along the way oh fire Former Florida COVID data scientist home could affect other state employees. I got some terrible moves. I'm glad this one's weak. Let's see. Let's see, he's Fire and Dragon. I don't think Tox Trust me has anything super helpful with that. So Play Rough seems to be my best bet. run through for now. I'm going to go pick up my missus from work. Alrighty. Well, I appreciate your playing and your viewing. I mean, I'm probably just going to be playing anyways, whether anybody's playing or joining me or not, but either way, I'm just going to play tonight kind of like my Pokemon opening. It's something I would be doing anyway, so, you know, I just turn a camera on while doing it. Oh, now that can, that one can 
Gigantamax. It's immune to bugs, so let's go water, I guess. What item would you like? Power physical moves, turn panel. That goes power special moves. Not much for options there. Alrighty. Bear scooter. Hyper voice, tearful look, thunder wave, and rising voltage. That's kind of shitty. I think I'm going to stick with it, though. Yeah, it's definitely got the G-Max, but the point is, is Rishiram is resistant to electric, so it kind of sucks. <laughs> Takes half damage from electric, so... All right. All right. Oh my God. Hey Linda. I think I'm going to try to just defeat it with Hyper Voice. Oh, 
Oh, nice. Papa Toad would be really good to use because it's got ground type moves. Ground type is times two effective against Rishiram. I don't do refunds when it makes the customer happy. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Let's get this. Fly guy is doing some work. Yeah, he is. Problem is, a fly guy being part dragon type, the wrong move can just one shot him. So. That's a water and ground type move. That should be good. I can't Gigantamax, but I have super effective moves that are double effective. My phone finally came to life. So you can G Max. <laughs> I'm G Maxing now. Well, Dynamaxing now. What I'm going to do is hit him with the water one that makes it rain for five turns, hit him with the ground move. Hit him with the ground move again, and then hit him with the water one that makes it stay rainy for five turns. That way, the rainy weather will help during the Dynamax, and then we'll have it for five more turns after the Dynamax. Melts in with Max Quake, super effective. Oh, wow, that didn't do much. Hit him with Max Quake again, next go round. Did you check the O2 sensor?
<laughs> Alright, was that my second Max Quake? Yeah, good plans are the only kind I have. <laughs> Fingers crossed we get that shiny Risharam. I don't know if you know or not, Justin, but Legendaries and everything is a guaranteed catch in Dynamax Adventures. So you can use whatever ball you want. That's why I like to use the Premier Ball, because I think it's funny to catch a Legendary and it's such a crappy ball. But uh, if it's shiny, then I'll have a shiny Legendary and such a crappy ball. <laughs> I say it's a crappy ball, but I actually have a Premier Ball sitting right next to me. Yeah, they do that. Alright, not shiny, not shiny, not shiny, and not shiny. Goodbye. All right, PCC, you have a good night. Have a safe drive going to pick up the misses. And uh, I look forward to seeing some of your videos tomorrow or whatever. Talk to you in chat or whatever. You know, I'll, I'll talk to you sometime eventually, buddy. Um, all righty. Yes, I would like you to jot it down. There we go. All nice. Properly done. All right, to the other three people that looks like you're watching my chat, I want to say thank you for watching. Uh, I'll probably jump back on tomorrow night. Uh, I'm actually off work until Thursday of this week, so um, thank you for playing with me, PCC. Everybody check out Pokey Cart Collector's YouTube channel, and uh, make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. And uh, everybody have a great night. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. I love each and every single one of you, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Have a